Everyone, welcome back for a whale's tail. It's like a shark's tail, but only bigger. And though our course has been hath been decided uh, to persuade, we must needs beseech the aid of an old friend. Aye, I speak of Bismarck. Pray follow me to Saloon, and we will we might seek an audience with him once more. Really, Orange? Orange, you're fucking meh. Oh, I like how Alfred stayed and bowed, and he's like, "Yeah, man, nice." Good bow. Fucking for real? Yeah, where do you want me to go? You want me to go all the way to Lakeland? He does. You want me to go all the way to fucking Lakeland? Uh, or or you You cannot. You cannot. We're not going to fuck up another part of that ocean. That water has to go somewhere. <laughs> By making these giant pockets of air into the ground, we must be raising the water. This is this is terrifying. I can't believe we're going to use the whale again. It can't like it's got to lead us to like a certain place or something. There he is, look. Just chilling in Lakeland water. He's just slipping. What a little whale. What a nice little boy. Well, I thought that was a fucking Sydney for a second there. I was like, what the fuck is that shit? That'd be cool, eh? If like, it's like Sydney is, you could see a Sydney every now and again, just like floating around. Yeah, Orion J. I'm here, my dude. Okay. From here, we press onwards to the Isle of Kin. Uh, I myself uh, shall proceed on foot. She can't swim. <laughs> You've perfected your technique, then? Uh just so, the water will be glass beneath my feet. Really gonna walk on water? You really gonna Jesus us right now? And provide if purchase fra fragile yet true, which watch closely. Oh, I certainly shall. Forgive me, but would it not be easier to perfect your swimming technique? Aye. So it would be a pity to drown, truly. Oh, hush. I'm sure it would be brilliant. <laughs> yeah, go on, mate. Give it a go. Wow! Well done! has done it incredible you're gonna walk all the way he's gonna fall in Oh. Oh, Jay. Oh, for the love of. He just jumped in full armored. That must be hard to swim. My apologies. Uh, the technique requires uh, the the purest of focus. I mind what it was lacking. Uh, to perfect this magic, I went so far as to deal with the fourth and their aid, my efforts finally met with success. Uh, I'll bet on one on a single occasion. Uh, 
Uh, I know not why. I cannot repeat it. When I saw you waver a bit towards the end there, perhaps you are simply tired. Tancred? It's nothing. Nothing to worry about. Only a dizzy spell. I might not be wise to go for another swim just now. Thankfully, we have an alternative. A wonderful little invention. I'm certain you'll agree. Here we go. It's called a boat. What a fucking dumbass. How could Orianje be so smart and yet so fucking stupid? Do you really think those two are alright? Uh, perhaps we should take a moment to rest. What sort of dealings with the fur, I wonder? Uh, before you make a quip about age catching up with me, you'd out you'd out breath you'd out breath too. You'd be out of breath too. If you had to drag Orianja out of the sea uh, without so much as a warm up. I must admit, I have been keen attempt at walking on water myself, though I know I know what Alize would say. Uh, I'll stick to swimming, thank you very much. It's a wise move. Uh, I I will bet in Bismarck's aid on our behalf. Let us pray my diplomacy proveth more effective than my magics. Experimental magics. Yeah, he's open. Is open. I don't have to read it either. You speak with the voice of the king, little neighbors. I will not deny you. As before, if you seek what sleeps beneath the sea, I will be your guide. Thy kindness is boundless, and as boundless as the depths, serene one. Before we depart, however, I would ask a favor. I require four bear pelts, please. <laughs> After our last flight, I found many creatures clinging to me. I am all itchy. Remove them, and I will take you below. That with all haste it shall be done. So, did he agree? Uh, I, uh, though I arranged a favour in kind. Uh, regrettably, it is not the one I possess the power to grant. Uh, Bizet has asked us to cleanse his uh, underbelly of barnacles. Alas, one must needs delve beneath the surface to do so. Uh, even if I could master the power to walk upon it, I would avail me not. Oh, for heaven's sake at all, Strife and I are more than capable of that. Oh, uh, why am I? <laughs> With the Kojin's blessings we've done, we've done in moments, and better than standing here and listening to all this nonsense. <sighs> I take the right, you, I take the right, you take the left. Now go. Alright, Lazo, sounds good to me. That you guys need to get some cogent blessings. I am in your debt. Alright, no worries. Yep. There was more land there. Yep. There's more land there. Yep. God damn it. <laughs> Give me the fucking water. Alright, under we go. I did jump off the left side, right? Uh, Alright. Aha! Oh, look at his big old eye. It's kind of scary, isn't it? Here it is. Little barnacle boy. Oh, it's gross. Ugh, barnacles are disgusting. Look at 
at it. It's, look at it. It's horrible, isn't it? Ugh. It's got like an eyeball. It's disgusting. All right. Great. We did it. You know what? Actually, I think I'm just going to fly up. I think that'll be much easier and quicker. Fly, 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 fly. Thine efforts were most sincerely appreciated. I will inform Bismarck that we may depart without further delay. Much, much better. <laughs> much, much. Much better. Thank you, little neighbors. I remember not long time ago, another did this favor for me. After the flood, when I chose this spot for my slumber, he came and made a home on my back. Ken was his name. When I grew itchy, I stared. But he was not afraid. No, he asked me what was wrong. I told him. I have creatures clinging to my belly. He dove into the water and helped me. He was my friend. He told me... <laughs> what the... Why are you telling me this, Bismarck? He told me he wished to live in peace, away from his people and their wars. This I understood. I, tr I treasured our time together, brief though it was, brief though it always is. But I remember him, and how he laughed when he flew, when we flew. I remember when he slept. I slept that day, and many die since, day since. But the light fades, and the darkness returns. Ken sleeps, but in a memory he laughs, and together we fly. And here I am awake. Hmm... It feels good to speak with, speak and be heard again. A shame others cannot understand me. If thou art willing to learn, I would graciously teach thee the language of man. Thank you, little friend, but time, but it is time I grant your request. Plus, I don't think I have the vocal cords for it. But first we will take flight, cleanse my body and prepare to dive. We will dive. We will we'll sift, and I would not have you struck earnest the breeze. So this island was named was named for a man. How easily the past is forgotten. What? You weren't told that. <laughs> he passed, passed not only 100 years ago, yet the truth has slipped away from history. Like how many grains of sand. Might I have some explanation of what he just said, or shall we all stand here making vague mysteries and illusions? What the fuck are you talking about? What? He didn't... All right, whatever. Yeah, who cares? While he maketh ready to deliver us unto a destination, Bismarck bade us wait for him on the shore of Kalusha. That, that's all? I feel as though there was more to do. Uh, indeed there was, but it hath no bearing on the task at hand. I should be glad to share the rest with you and on. Fine, later then. If Bismarck requires time to prepare, might I suggest uh, a short respite for Orion Jane Fancred in particular? I require no such thing. I am a picture of perfect health. Uh, mine was with a momentary lapse in concentration. <laughs> uh, worry not on my account. You mustn't push yourself! So please rest. 
for me, and I'm going to do these, like, eyes that make you say, all right. Oh, all right, if you insist. <laughs> what was that smile? Oh. You two, you've been running yourself ragged. Uh, but I feel fine. I want to see a freak out again. But I feel fine. Just go quietly. Strife, trust me. Oh, it's Fankred. Sorry. Alright. In that case, I leave the old men in your care. The rest of us will meet you in the spit hill. Hill, a nun. A nun. I wonder if she, he would have said old men if... Uh, if I was a female character. Ah, word of advice. Never let it show when she realises uh, she's struck a nerve. She remembers. By God, she remembers. Uh, in any case, if we must if we must be made to rest, uh, I know a particular saloon that's better than most. Call me. Well, did we just warp in there? Oh. Okay. There's the edges down there. Oh, no, okay, no, I know where that is. That's fine. Ah, may as well have a seat. We want our elderly knees to give out. To her, to hear her speak, you'd think, you'd think I'd on my deathbed by the twelve, because that girl wouldn't worry so much. Uh, their counters, be what the fuck? The <laughs> their countenance bellies, thy words, Master Fangrid. I'm sure I don't know what you mean. Let the records show that I am here under protest. I can't say I mind the view. And if the absence of anglers is any indication, uh, even more uh, amateur might land an impressive catch. Should we try our hands at it? I mean, I'm level fucking 80, dude. Help! Someone, help! Quickly! Oh. It's, it's Nightshade! We were attacked on the road in the Crystarium. Barely skipped my life! I suppose we'll have to, We might be ticked at this. I'll never, I won't be able to show you up on my level 80 fishing skills, Fankrid. You, you mean you'll help? For free? Thank you. If I recall correctly, Nightshade is a local band of outlaws. I, I doubt they'll trouble us over much. Uh, no more than they already have, interrupting our relaxation at any rate. Um, okay. Off we go. There's a little bit of fluff in this, isn't there? Considering th this story's been split into two parts, right? We're getting a chunk in 3.5 as well? Is that correct? It's a bit of a weird one. Oh, they've already done it. Oh, these two seem to have matter well in hand, by the looks of it. Yeah, I know these guys. Don't forget your kindness. Uh, may we meet again? Yo. Is, is that you, sir? Oh, don't tell me that, that we just deprived that poor fellow of the honor of being rescued by the warrior of darkness. 
You had no idea that you were in the area. Fancy us meeting again so soon, eh? Why, uh, I believe I even recognize your companion. <laughs> because, like, the fuck? Uh, yes, from the infirmary. You had a message from the Crystal Exarch, uh, did you not? Hey, it's good to see you back on your feet and on your patrol, no less. Uh, oh, it's nothing official, is that? Uh, uh, strictly speaking, we're off duty. But as we had a free moment, we thought we'd give a few... Uh, a few travelled roads. Let's travel roads a look. Uh, the guard doesn't have enough hands to patrol the ball regularly, you see. That's admirable. Uh, there are a few devoted to their duty in Lakeland or, or beyond. Well, we've, uh, we've been talking about it for a while and neither of us are satisfied with seeing our service, seeing out our service. It feels like we could be doing more, like we should be doing more. It's all about having, having the will to help your fellow man and resolve to see it through. The uh, oh, be you, the excitable one. Uh, sorry, sir. I got a bit excited the other day. I couldn't get my words out. The name's Vol Volan, sir. Uh, I'm with the guard. Uh, but I don't want to just protect Lakeland. I want to protect the lot. Just like the war is a light. Sadly, our duties prevent us from uh, venturing too far uh, from our little corner of Navrant. <sighs> what we'd really like to do is travel. Uh, better ourselves and go where is needed great. Greatest. But everyone has to start somewhere, don't they? Uh, for now, if you can stop Nightshade from robbing the odd fisherman, that's that's what we'll do. Now to carry the corpse. Well, well. Future heroes of the first, do you think? Hmm. They went on for 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 sprint. Tis tis but a pity they draw inspiration from so clouded a wellspring. It yet availeth us naught to fret in idleness. We must needs press on if we are to bring Elidibus's schemes to light. Uh, the crit, please. The first good reward we've had, we've had to pick. It's nice, makes a change. Uh, ha ha, here we go. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Next time is a dungeon quest beneath the, surfi the surface. This is gonna be a rough one. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it with the trusts. Get some extra dialogue. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all then. Bye-bye.